all right guys thank you for tuning in to another video we're going to be recording this on the one plus nine pro 5g so this is going to be a 4k 120 frames at least that's what it claims but other than that let's do some testing we're going to be doing uh verizon ultra wideband testing with t-mobile ultra capacity so let's start the test off with the verizon ultra wideband we're looking at 11 ping 5.2 jitter and we can see exceptional performance from the ultra wideband and 77 is just cooking we're looking at 593 down with uh let's see here the upload it's almost done 63.9 on the upload all right let's test uh t-mobile ultra capacity as we like to say ultra capacity these nuts but let's test her out okay so we're looking at a 13 ping 2.2 jitter Two hundred and sixty nine down. By seventy four point one on the upload, we're going to test it one more time and then we're going to go to another location. All right, so let's let's go again with Verizon Ultra Wideband. Twelve ping, three point three jitter. Five hundred twenty nine down. By sixty eight point two on the upload. Let's do one more on ultra capacity T Mobile, and then we will go to that next location. Like I said, sorry about that little purple thing that you see right there. That's probably part of the focus for the one hundred twenty frames. So we're looking at T Mobile fourteen ping two point five jitter. And just remember, this is hundred megahertz of ultra capacity 217 down by 79.4 on the up let me pull up the androids here I'll be right back okay just to show you guys the bandwidth band 2 10 megahertz on Verizon then let's see here hold on we gotta do something to get the the speed going so we'll go do a quick little speed test here so it can show the aggregations so band 210 and 77 60 megahertz band 66 10 band 66 10 band 510 so we're looking at 100 megahertz of spectrum total that's giving us these speeds and then let's go over to t-mobile all right, on T-Mobile, we have band 66, 15 megahertz, and 41 is 100. Here, hold on. Let me try to get some, get a quick sub going here so data can load. So 100 megahertz of band 41, and then band 2, 15 megahertz, so 15, 15, that's 30, 130 megahertz of spectrum. Yeah, guys. So let me go to the next location. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back at another location. Let's test it. Verizon UW 13 ping 1.3 jitter. Four seventy four down. The upload is 19.6. All right, let's do a little, uh, little uh, T-Mobile. So let's see here, T-Mobile, 13 ping, 5.1 jitter. Four twenty down. Oh damn.
by 81.9 on the upload. What the hell is going on to focus? Oh, there we go. All right, let's test uh, ultra wideband again. 13 ping 2.9 jitter. Oh man, is ultra wideband doing better? Holy crap. 49 down. The only thing T Mobile is their upload is good, but I wish I could live stream with it. And 46.5 on the upload for ultra wideband. Let's do one more on T Mobile and then we'll check out the spectrum bandwidth 13 ping 5.7 jitter so here i am in henderson right now this is uh what wigwam and stephanie and then earlier i was at sunset and whitney ranch so 378 down on T-Mobile Ultra Capacity and 65.9 on the upload. Let me pull here the phones real quick. Let's pull up the spectrum. Let's see here. So Verizon, we're looking at 10 megahertz of band 13, 60 megahertz of band 77, band 210, band 6610, band 6610. So 100 megahertz total as usual. Okay, let's pull up the Android for T-Mobile. Let's see here what T-Mobile is running in these neck of the woods. So, band 6615. Hold on, let's get uh, some some network connection going here real quick. So it can give us the aggregations and all that stuff. So, band 6615 megahertz. 100 megahertz of N41. 15 megahertz of band 2 so this is total of 130 megahertz and it's very comparable to the iPhone speeds on the Android which is 13 ping 3 jitter 471 by 54.6 and then we'll just do a speed test on the Android with ultra wideband we'll see if we can compare it if it's even connected to ultra wideband Let's see. Nope. The Android for some odd reason is not. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. We got the airplane mode just to get it to kick back on. Let's see what it does on the Galaxy 14 ping 2 jitter. So 494 down. And 52.8 on the upload. All right, guys, let me go to the next location. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Let's see here. Let's test out Verizon Ultra Wideband. Let's get the speed test going. 13 ping point seven jitter. Okay, we're looking at 617 on the down. And we're looking at an 83.5 on the upload. It's actually really good. All right, now let's test out T-Mobile Ultra Capacity. As you know, these nuts. 13 ping, 2.4 jitter. Three hundred seventy nine down. Don't get me wrong, it's still good performance. We can't say it's not. By fifty four point three on the upload, let's test ultra wideband again, and then we'll test T Mobile again. Twelve ping, one point three jitter on ultra wideband. Let's 
688 down. It was peaking there in the 700s there for a second. By 88.2 on the upload. Let's test ultra capacity again. Thirteen ping point eight jitter. Three ninety down. And sixty seven point two on the upload. All right, let's grab our Android variants for the carriers. Okay, we're looking at band 66, 10 megahertz, 60 megahertz and 77, 10 of two, 10 of 66, and then 10 of, I think it was five. If I'm not mistaken, the Android for some odd reason, it always acts up. There you go, now it's back on ultra wideband. Let's hear let's look at those specs again. So now it chose to be on band 5, 10 megahertz, 60 megahertz of N77, 2 of 10, and then 266s. Alright. Oh man, why does it keep the Android? I swear, man. You gotta love these Androids, man. They always just trip out. Okay, so let's speed test on the Android 13 ping 2 jitter. Seven eleven down. Damn, like seven eleven. Hey. And sixty seven on the upload. So seven eleven down, sixty seven upload on ultra wideband. All right, let's grab our good old buddy here for T-Mobile. Same an same type of Android, S21 Ultra. All right, let's do the code. All right, so we're looking at band 6615, 100 megahertz of N41, and 15 megahertz of band two. So the same 130 megahertz. So let's see how it does on the Android variant. 12 ping, two jitter. Three sixty three down. And seventy point four on the upload. Let's go to one more location, guys, and we'll conclude this video on N seventy seven versus N forty one. All right, guys, we are back. We're going to be here doing ultra wide band test. Here at the corner of Silverado Ranch and what is this? Las Vegas Boulevard. So we're looking at a 12 ping, 1.3 jitter. 209 down. And 34 on the upload. All right, let's do T Mobile Ultra Capacity. 13 ping, 4.8 jitter. Three seventeen down. And 31.2 on the upload. All right, let's test Verizon again. 13 ping, 3.4 jitter. One ninety two down.
and 37 on the upload let's test ultra capacity again 14 ping 4.2 jitter Three fifty nine down. And twenty four on the upload. Let's check out the Android Spectrum band two ten megahertz, sixty megahertz and seventy seven, sixty six ten, sixty six ten, five ten. All right, let's do uh well, this is the speed test that came out, but we're gonna retest real quick. Twelve ping for jitter. Two hundred thirty one down on the S twenty one Ultra. And twenty six on the upload. All right, let's grab the Android for T Mobile. Let's see what spectrum they're pulling here. Okay, band 2, 15 megahertz. Band 71, 5, band 4, 20. Hold on a second. That's weird. It's showing ultra capacity on the other phone. So let's see here. Something doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, there we go. N4100. So we got band 2, 15, N4100. And band 66, 20 megahertz here. So 135 megahertz of spectrum. We're looking at 13 ping fight jitter. 326 down. And 11.5 on the upload, guys, on the Android. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. Just wanted to give you guys apples to apples comparison N41 versus N71, N77. And N77 is actually looking pretty damn sharp. So thank you for all the channel members. Appreciate y'all too for supporting the channel. Appreciate everybody that gives donos. Appreciate that too. Alright guys, we will catch you in the next one. Take it easy and peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to not hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.